Hi everybody and welcome to Into the Kitchen with me, Chef Cynthia Louise. Where we get to eat, funnily enough, that's what we do. I've been making this ginger tea for a while actually, a couple of weeks, and I've been, I made it for Rochelle the other day. Hey Kalani, she's been sick. So it's kind of a really nice tea and I love it and it's just made me realise what you can do with those aromatic roots, you know, and there's so many different types of ginger and I'm in Indonesia and I love the basic garden ginger but like I said, there's so many different types in Indonesia, it's amazing. But what I wanted to show you guys that are living in other countries around the world is how you get ginger. So this, come really close, Gungun's behind the camera today. This is a young ginger. Why is it called a young ginger? Well, you can see the pink just on here and it's just beautifully... It's very, very tender. It's like it's very fragrant and it's just super young. This is an older ginger. Have a look at the difference. See the difference? It's kind of a little bit more harder to break. It looks aged. It looks aged, exactly. Exactly, Kalani. Perfect. It does look aged. So I just happened to get some young ginger and I just happened to have some old ginger as well. That's why I wanted to show you. So this is a really simple recipe and all it requires is lemon juice. So follow the recipe that's going to be um, on my blog. So I've got some lemon juice and I've got this ginger, which I like to just smash just like this. Just smash it. Just bruise it and it's chuck it straight into there. <laughs> that bit went flying. That's hilarious. Okay. That's the start. Now you need to add some water. Kalani, do you want to get me the honey, honey? I think it's just over there. See that white bowl of honey? I love a working kitchen. I love that we're all in here together and things go flying everywhere and we drop things. And <laughs> it's just hilarious. You're going to add water. Yep, pass it over here. So just follow the directions of the, the recipe. I want you to pour that honey in. And this is where you guys at home work out how much honey you want in there. So just keep pouring and pouring and pouring. Do you want it super sweet? I don't know. We're going to have to taste it as you go. But you just keep pouring. Trust me. Do you trust me? Yep. Are you sure? <laughs> I trust you. Okay, here you go. There's one for you. Okay, now have a taste. Give it a good mix. More yeah, honey. more honey. So it's good to have a really neutral honey too, nothing with lots of flavour. And I find in Australia, the ironbark honey is really good or any kind of local neutral flavoured honey. And smashing that ginger up like this is, is great, yeah? Another taste. Bottle. Yep, exactly. This is so good when you've got a flu or you're feeling run down or you want to cuddle from the inside yeah, out. Yep. It's really kind of a yummy tea to have. So put as much and as little honey as you like. It's, it's my favourite one. I'm not a big tea fan but I love this. This is beautiful and it makes a great iced tea with soda water and crushed lime the next day with some mint. Oh my god. It's amazing. Okay, have a taste. A good stir. Oh yeah. It's like ready to drink now. Yeah, is this is it this is it done? This is it. Now we're gonna cook, cook it for about mm. I like to cook it for about one hour actually. On a high heat. And then we'll serve it. But that's that's really it. So one hour and then we'll come back to it. So this has been on for about an hour, which is awesome and it's been boiling away. Look at the colour of it. It's not clear and that's because of the, the young ginger. Okay guys, it's really interesting. When I have the older ginger, it doesn't go this colour. It just shows you what mother nature does. Okay, turn it off. And then I have a teapot somewhere in here in my cabinet. Ah oh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> Is that cute? It's kind of how you want to have tea, right? Definitely. There's tea for two, isn't there? Totally. Tea for three. 
Yeah, and for Gun Gun. Yeah. So there's a couple of things you can do with this, you guys, at home. Have it cool completely. Like, just leave it to completely cool and then put it in the fridge. Strain it and put it in the fridge and you've got yourself a nice cold situation. The next, when it's really completely cool and nice and cold, you get a nice pitcher, like a, like a jug, and you put lots of ice in there, some squash lime and some mint, and then tip this in there with a bit of soda water, you have a really great spritzer. It's yep. freaking amazing. It's just, just gorgeous. So I'm going to fill my teapot up. Now, you know what the Chinese do? Are you getting your teary? Are you right? It's a ginger. <laughs> How are you going, Gungun? Are you teary behind the camera? No. No? I'm very sensitive. Do you know what the Chinese do? They wash, apparently, the, the, the teapot. I've heard about these Chinese tea rituals. My girlfriend, Meg, um, from Avoi, amazing company. She has tea, tea ceremony. She does oh. at Avoi, and she washes... I think she does this first. Hi Meg, if you're watching. And she lets it overflow. Like that. That's oh, something and then she does something good. else. It's really quite amazing. Okay, look at this. Okay guys. I need a chair, Can I grab a chair. How easy was that? It smells so great. It's stinging your eyes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's a great recipe, especially in the winter months. And you want something quite warming from the cuddle, you know, from the inside out cuddle. This is it. This is the one. It's bloody hot. I'm just going to smell it because it's too hot to drink. I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Gun Gun, behind that the camera. That smells amazing. It's really if hot. someone walked in here, it's right hot. Good, good. So good. Oh yeah, if you walked in here, it'd yeah. be amazing. But what a great way to use ginger, especially when it's abundant. And yeah, and you know what? When it is abundant, and in Australia, when I buy quite a bit of it, I freeze it. So I have chunks of it in the freezer, oh. and I bring it out to make this. And this has been kind of I've been making this about once a week lately. Yeah, it's been that good to make. So enjoy, guys. Enjoy this recipe. I love it cold with soda water. I love it hot when you're feeling a bit fluey. Or a bit sad or premenstrual, like you were last week. <laughs> you could have done with this. Yeah, where was my ginger tea? Where was your ginger tea? <laughs> Cheers. See ya.